90% of sharpening is having the right sharpening stone. This is the only stone I use, well, 90% of the time. Made from alum aluminum oxide, impregnated with oil. I never have to add oil to it. Every stone is manufactured for a specific purpose and application. You have to know what stone for what and then how to use each stone. Then if you have a stone that's coarse enough to take off the steel, the stone is crumbling. So you have to use water spitter oil on it to keep the particles away from the knife edge. This stone is so tough that if you watch this here, you'll take off knife steel. wipe it off and keep going. The coarse side is so precise that I sharpen razor blades on that coarse side. This is the fine side. Now the way I use this stone is the other secret. I get a towel and I put it across my legs. I sit in a chair. Then I grab this stone. And I put my first finger on top of my leg, open up my thumb. And I put this stone right almost in the center of my leg. And then I grip the stone with my thumb and my hand. The weight of my left shoulder is transferred down to this stone, so you can't hardly take it out of my hands. That stone isn't going anywhere. Then I grab the knife. Your arm and wrist have no consistency or strength. So trying to keep the same angle is extremely difficult. So I have you put your first finger on the blade like this and kind of press that down with your finger. And I have you bring it back to the stone like this. Get your angle at least an eighth of an inch off the stone. Then I want you to lock your wrist. Bring the blade back to the beginning here and take a bow and see if the knife moves. The farther away your hand gets from your body, the harder it is to push. And this is the abrasive. So we're gonna take our body down to the stone. As we go down, we're gonna let our elbow go out and that allows this blade to stay flat on that stone. So every piece, every part of that edge is being honed. And then for the return stroke, we're gonna stop before we get to the end of the stone, turn the blade over like the ignition in our car, put our thumb on the blade, get our angle, lock our wrist. Now we're gonna bring our elbow in. To bring this knife back, we're gonna make our right shoulder go back left shoulder go forward and our elbow up in the air. What that does is it gets even the very tip. When you raise your elbow up, it makes that consistent edge all the way through the stroke on every part of that edge, even the tip. Now, to indicate how we're doing, you can highlight that edge with a black marker. It doesn't have to be magic, it just has to be a marker. So now that cutting edge is black, it's colored. Sit in a chair, 
of the towel of the stone. We grab the stone on this corner right here. And we don't hold the stone like this. Don't hold the stone like that. We get it right on the corner. And then we use this part of the stone. And we're using our upper body. It's called using your own um, natural body mechanics. So we get our angle, we lock our wrist, bring the blade back to the beginning, take a bow to see if the knife moves. If the knife moves, then we can carry that stroke all the way down. Get our ankle, lock our wrist, take a bow to see if the knife moves. See, if we just went like this, we don't have any consistency. So we're going to actually hold that angle and let our body, our own natural body mechanics, to make that stroke. And a return stroke, turn the blade over, put your thumb on the blade, get your angle, lock your wrist, then bring your elbow in. Right shoulder comes back, left shoulder goes forward, and the elbow goes up in the air to get that tip all the way through. This is a consistent, powerful stroke. If I were to take this stone away, that stroke is done like this. My upper body is riding on the edge of that. And this stone isn't crumbling. I don't have to worry about how the stone is doing because it's actually taking steel off. Get our ankle, lock our wrist, bring our elbow in. Right shoulder comes back, left shoulder goes forward, and the elbow up in the air. Now I should be able to see a shiny line, a consistent shiny line on that edge, cutting edge. Now if there's still black, that means you've missed a place. And keep on honing until that's totally consistent. If you go down and you see that on right here that there's still black, that means it hasn't touched the stone because we're up here. We're still going up here. We've got to get there, our elbow to go down. And if you get to here and you still can't do it, start pulling the handle down. Pull the handle down, let the, the tip go up. And that will get every part of that cutting edge. I spend anywhere from five minutes to an hour on a blade, depending on how bad it is. Any questions, give me a comment.